What we can do with the students here at the zoo is something we can't do at Georgia Tech because we have this fantastic living collection. It gets the students an organismal experience, uh, hands-on in most cases, uh, that can't be replicated on the campus at Georgia Tech. So we're working with the Burmese mountain tortoises and we're looking to see if these juvenile tortoises form a social structure and have like a tortoise that's most dominant or least dominant and how that affects their weight gain and if they occupy shelters more or less. Um, and we think it'll help with conservation and um, pet husbandry and zoo management. We have three treatments and we have a treatment that's just a control and then we have a treatment that is three tortoises with one shelter. So what we're expecting to see is that the most dominant tortoise, which is usually the heaviest, occupies that one shelter most often. And then we have another treatment that's three tortoises with two shelters. And this time we're expecting to see the tortoise that is least dominant be in the shelters the least. We have found what we were looking for in the three tortoise two shelter treatments. Um, the heavier tortoises occupy the shelters significantly more than the smaller tortoises. When I came to Georgia Tech, I actually didn't like ecology at all. I thought it was kind of wishy-washy. And then I had my first ecology class and I really liked it. And then I was assigned to be a TA laboratory eco uh, TA. And then this project, this project lab was open and it would, I thought it would be really cool to use all my experience from TA and Ecology Lab to design my own experiment and run it. I just really appreciate how much Zoo Atlanta has been willing to have us here. 